Hello everyone, uh, Edgar here. I wanted to record a short video to introduce a little pack of OSL based shaders that I have been working on in this couple of past weeks. As you can see, all I have in my scene is just a bunch of planes. There is really no geometry here. If we just go ahead and select whatever is going on here, you can see that really it's nothing but a flat plane. Yet, when you look into the Octane window, uh, live viewer, you can see that it's much more going on than uh, just a simple plane. Uh, I have uh, gone ahead and created a bunch of shaders for an office sort of setting. So you can see I've got uh, two variations of uh, something like a break room with a microwave, a toaster, uh, um, a kettle, a fridge, um, something like that again of empty offices, uh, some designer offices um, for graphic designers or something, and then uh, just a couple of more like sort of CEO maybe offices which are at the moment empty. Then there is a bunch of analysts working, crunching the numbers, uh, a couple more meeting rooms and actually people having a meeting. This guy is having a cup of tea while well, this guy is explaining something on the whiteboard. These guys are also having a meeting, uh, a guy working on a computer, um, another meeting room and two corridors. So again, this is pretty cool because those are uh, absolutely the simplest pieces of geometry and yet you're getting all this depth in that. Now you might ask yourself, how does this actually work and what is an OSL based shader? OSL shader is a shader that runs on a piece of code, which clever people write, which gives uh, much more ability to this simple piece of geometry to perform different uh, tricks. So I went ahead and created a small scene to show you how this can be used and how this can be applied. Let me show you. So here we are. I made this super simple scene where I took my uh, OSL shaders and the planes that they are mapped on into the cloner, um, arranged them in a grid array, 11 by 8, put uh, a bunch of stretched out cubes to sort of suggest the building and uh, that's kind of it really. So you can already see the power of this. Uh, you can just super quickly create the illusion of uh, a huge building being populated by people and offices and just a bunch of things going on. And of course, depending on your angle of view, the perspective is shifting correctly, as you can see in my Octane Live Viewer. Uh, just to kind of give it a little bit more love, I decided to put another cube with the glass uh, sort of texture. And there we go, already looking so much better, right? We're having this all these awesome reflections going on of the sky. This is coming from my HDRI I have going here. And there we go, like this is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, you are getting so much of geometry without the actual geometry, which is, I think, absolutely awesome. Now, at the moment, we are having sort of a daytime, daylight scenario. And what if you would want to have this in the evening or a nighttime? Well, it's quite simple. You just lower down the power of your HDRI and windows are, in fact, illuminated, as you can see. If I disable my alpha channel in settings, uh, of course, I can go ahead and enable my bloom power on the camera. And in fact, of course, those windows are going to be glowing, which is sort of what you want to have in the nighttime if you would be filming this. So as you can see, this is quite a versatile rig, which can be used in a variety of ways. You can use it to populate your buildings with life, with people, with offices, without spending any extra time on modeling or arranging or even designing your buildings inside now. Uh, it's super, super cool. So thank you so much for watching this video and allow me to explain what I have been onto. 
uh, if you would like to get this pack of OSL shaders for yourself please follow the link in the video description thank you and see you soon